being a successful student athlete, it really comes down to the choices that you make. The choice is yours. I'm Simeon Hurd, I'm a junior here at Duval College, and I'm in the five-year accounting international business program. I've been interested in sports and basketball ever since I could remember. My toys when I was younger were basketballs, footballs, baseballs. My parents were both three-sport athletes and pretty good athletes. And they never forced me to choose a sport, but I remember we, I, ever since I could remember, like Sports Center or highlights would be on TV. It did not matter sport. It could be hockey, baseball, basketball, football. I'd be like trying to jump off the couch and do what the players did. I see my dad doing push-ups late at night. I'd be trying to do them even though I couldn't lift myself off the ground. My parents thought I was passionate about it and they always made sure that whatever I was passionate about or passionate in that they would back me 100% and it played into their hands because they were athletes themselves. So it was kind of just love at first sight with sports and it was a culture I grew up in. So the recruitment process, when I started looking for colleges, I got contact from coaches when I was like a sophomore in high school. And it was for two sports, football and basketball. And my coach gave me a rule. He said, talk to every school that wants to talk to you or is interested in. Don't count them out because of former records or what you have a preconceived notion about them for. I would go to schools. I would go on visits. And there was two things I took into account. A, did their culture academically and athletically match who I was as a person, my character, my morals. And B, my high school coach told me this. He said, if you were to tear your ACL today or have a career-ending injury, A, would the school be education? good for me down the road would I still have a valuable degree and something I could build off of after school and be what I feel like I had people that cared about me as an individual not just as an athlete and I felt I had both here I felt I had people who cared about me or was in my corner regardless of what I was doing on the court and I know for sure my degree here will mean something later down the road to be completely honest when you're a high school athlete you tend to not think of the bigger picture as much so me personally I would think man I want to school where I can shine athletically but my support group and my mentors and the people who came into my life my, my sacred circle I call them they made sure that I thought about academics as well so they balanced me out but at first I was just thinking athletically and I'll think academics later There are main reasons why I chose I can't just single it down to one. I would say when I came here on my visit, my future teammates and my future coach, they embraced who I was as a person. They asked me questions that didn't just ask what I could do athletically. They asked me about my family. They asked me about how I was doing in my season for basketball in high school. And they wanted to know how I felt, how I was as a person, what I liked to do, what my interests were, what music I listened to, what I wanted to do on my visit. So, A, the people here and the culture here, I, t I could tell that they were building towards something that matched my character. And also, the academics. I went on a tour here in the business program. I don't know how to explain it. It's small, but they take care of each individual. I met my future advisor. He asked me about how my mother was doing, well, how financially I'd be able to pay for school, what scholarships would be available to me. And he couldn't wait to teach me in the fall. And he only had met me for a couple of hours. So it was an accumulation of the people and how I knew that down the road, the program I was in was going to aid me and help me develop into a person of value. To balance being a student athlete, being an athlete and a student, it comes down to one word for me and it's discipline. It can be tough at my age. I mean, I'm 20 years old, and you want to have a social life. You want to be with friends. You want to have a good time, because that's what the world portrays college to be about. But I'm not going to have an average college experience. I'm adding an athlete to that, and I made that decision. So when you make a choice to be a college athlete, you have to make a choice to be disciplined. You have to make a schedule for every day, make goals athletically, academically, and health-wise. And you have to schedule your time accordingly. So certain social events, you have to prioritize. Do I want to go to the gym, and hang out with my friends? And as much as that may hurt you not to be with your friends, you know you're investing into your future and discipline it is and you can't be disciplined in one area you got to be disciplined in your schooling your athletics and you got to be disciplined in what you eat and how you sleep because that all plays into you being a student athlete so it comes down to one word and that's discipline i would also say to be a successful student athlete is don't put all your effort into just seeing the end result because a lot of people are like i just want to get an a in this class no uh put all your effort into the process that is involved with this studying um, taking notes showing up to class you'll notice that you're becoming something different you're becoming the person that's fit to be that a student so instead of just getting an a you'll be an A student if you focus on the process. So a lot of people say trust the process, and I know it's a cliche, but focus on what goes into getting the end product that you want, and it's that much sweeter at the end. 
The biggest challenge being a student athlete is consistency because your schedule tends to change. So the things in life happen. A class may not be scheduled during a time where you like to function mentally, but you have practices at a certain times, so you have to take that class. So being consistent in a routine, what makes you go individually, it can be tough to um, develop consistency and keep consistency because it's easy to uh, obtain success if you're a disciplined athlete, but maintaining it is a tougher part. So being consistent, waking up when you don't want to, working out still, even though you just had three midterms in one day, you have to remain true to your discipline and who you are as a person. And that's the hardest thing is just being consistent. I try to wake up early. During the off-season, it would be like 5.30. Now I've kind of gotten it down to like 6.30. My body needs rest after late practices. I'll wake up, I'll eat breakfast. Three or four days out of the week, I'll wake up, get a morning lift in, get my mind right, try to listen to motivational things, get my spirit and my element right for the day because how your attitude is toward the day is usually how your day will go. So I try to make sure I'm in a positive space. I'll go to class after I work out. Usually I take a nap. If anybody that knows me knows I love to sleep, gotta get a nap, then I'll go to class. After class, um, I'll study go eat, have some time with my friends, have a little downtime, and then I'll make sure I go to my studies. I'll take notes on the material that we learned for myself personally, write down vocab, study for tests, and then I'll go eat, take another nap. After I wake up from that nap, depending on what day it is, I'll have individual workouts with our grad assistant. He'll make sure I work on things I need to be better in and practice so I can be better prepared for games. Then I'll come back, eat again, <laughs> take another nap. By that time, it's around midday or later in the afternoon, I'll have practice pretty soon. So I'll wake up, about 45 minutes early for this, I'll go to the training room, stretch, get little kinks worked and out. And then I'll go to practice. We'll start practice. We'll go hard for two hours, practice hard. After that, I try to stretch, get some extra shots up. And I'll be on my way home. I'll take a Have shower. Have some downtime. Like again, I like to end my day the same way I started. So make sure my spirit and my mind is in a positive space. Maybe take care of some little stuff like laundry, but I'll try to be sleep as soon as possible. May spend some time with friends that I maybe neglected to see because I've been so busy. By that time, sometimes it's like midnight, maybe 12.30, and I'm sleep trying to get five, six hours, hopefully seven hours of sleep and start it all over again. My biggest fear is a student athlete. That's a great question. I don't like to say I fear failure because I feel like the only way I can fail is if I stop. Moving I would say the biggest thing I would not want to happen for me is to not squeeze every ounce of the greatness I know is within me and look back and have regrets that, oh, I wish I would have So that. the biggest thing for me is being afraid that I didn't give 100% of myself as much as I could and not give 100% of myself in my academics and my studies. To be prepared, what I would tell myself now, looking back to tell 18-year-old Sim, have fun with the process. I had a good support group, so they made sure I was on top of my college applications and made sure that my fast food was in and my grades were good. But I would say have more fun with it. I was a little stressed about By it. By the time I was 18 years old, I was in a single parent home and I would kind of be stressed like, this is my future, I want to make my mom proud, I want to make those who've invested and sacrificed in me proud. And I kind of was like just trying to find that fit. What school is going to be best for me? And people asked me questions, so I felt it was a little bit of pressure. But I would tell Sim, be you, it got you this far, have fun with it. And that's what I would tell anybody else who's 18 years old. Be on top of your academics, be on top of yourself as an athlete, but give 100% in everything that you do. If you have downtime, uh, uh, concentrate and be 100% on that. Don't worry about the school while you're having time with your family. Worry about that when the time comes. Don't stress yourself out. Be you, have fun with the process. My name is Simeon Hurd. I'm a student and I'm an athlete. And I choose to be both.